Your grandma called it undertow. Your uncle called it a riptide. It's a rip current. There's no current that pulls you under in the beach. A rip current pulls you out. You can recognize a rip current by its foamy, choppy surface. It'll have sand mixed up in it, and it'll be a little different color than the rest of the water. Rip currents are responsible for 80% of all rescues in the surf environment. People get really scared or tired trying to swim against the current, and that's when they have problems swim along the shoreline and then on an angle back to shore. If you're unable to do that, just stay floating in the rip current. Eventually its pull will dissipate. And if you're really unable to even stay afloat, turn around, face shore, wave your arms, yell for help. If you see someone in trouble, get help from a lifeguard. If there's no lifeguard available, throw them something that floats and give them advice on how to get back to shore. Every year people drown trying to rescue others. When you go to the beach, remember, this is not a pool and it's not a pond. If you're a non-swimmer, you have no business going out in the surf environment.